What's up guys, we're back again for another Marvel Puzzle Quest video. All right, so Vulture535, I like his, uh, we're gonna go with the uh, techno uh, technologist, the synthetic technologist build, or team, um, or enhanced, one of the three, I don't know. But uh, we're gonna go with Deathlock, generating blue and purple, because that's what it's gonna do. Because this is the, I think, highest, obviously it's gonna generate blue, but I don't know what the second one is. But Deathlock, and he's gonna increase uh, their damage, or whichever characters in front's damage to the enemy team or just whatever characters in front of the enemy on the enemy team um ultron because i guess using wa like uh yellow not watch yellow jacket is like eh, whatever this boring so ultron 535 increase the strength of a uh, strike tile that he creates and his red to throw out strike tiles as well his black ability is active but we have it at three because all it does is uh i think it steals three enemy ap and stuns them for two turns at five um it steals enemy ap at level three and still stuns them for two turns at three so we're gonna go with five three five for him and we're gonna focus on uh using his red a lot right to deal damage um we're gonna use Vulture's blue to basically control who we want to, you know, not let activate their abilities. We're going up against a pretty hef, like, pretty healthy team, right? Um, the AoE damage from Vulture and Deathlock is there. The damage increase from Deathlock and Vulture, not Ultron, sorry. Uh, right, the AoE damage from them too is there. The damage increase from Ultron Strike Tiles is there as well. Boost to speed, to speed things up. Let's get into it. Um, I kind of want to get rid of beta rate bill first but then it's you know my gut's telling me hey get rid of kang because he activates that blue on vulture or ultron you're pretty much gone so um vulture you just want to send them airborne and if you activate this again like the whole goal is to basically activate stealth hunter to get the ap and then while you're airborne activate absolute altitude and increase, you know, tile or whatever. This is his main damage dealer, AOE. You wanna keep on activating as much as possible. You drain the AP to increase the damage. And then, pretty simple, if, if Vulture is airborne, the, this ability becomes Plummet. So when it transforms into Plummet, still seven green AP, um, you deal 16K, but I'd rather have this than this in my opinion uh dealing 16,000 damage and destroying five random tiles uh destroyed tiles deal damage but do not generate ap um actually to be honest you either one of these is good you're, you're still gonna be hitting hard with this and it only costs seven ap which is crazy right so uh you know you don't want them activating their abilities use this steal their ap generate ap um to fuel this this basically you control who you want in the air to not activate their abilities and uh basically stops them from doing that and uh it doesn't say it but obviously that's what it does that's what sending the character airborne does and um you know you activate it a second time if your hostile skies count on tile already exists instead add one turn to the tile and vulture deals two hits of 6764 damage to the airborne enemy so you activate it again the airborne enemy that's still airborne while he's invisible gets hit and then it's it, it's just it he's an insane character he's, he's pretty fun they just gave him everything he's a solo character he can do he can do everything by himself um i don't know if he can 1v3 a team like this but he can 1v3 you know the base teams that a lot of people are barely starting to get the people that don't know what to do in the game and whatnot but like uh that you know the whales that have characters champed that don't know what they're doing but they just champ everything and i'm gonna use this care this team for no reason but uh so we need like the main colors right now obviously blue and green if we get purple we get it whatever but uh let's see so we have zero focus points we need black to activate that to get the focus points to increase vultures damage we want that aoe damage increase from deathlock this is a pretty fun team too by the way so we're going to be getting blue and purple so we want to match green um this team could work or um vulture five star vulture could work with uh polaris and beta ray bill 
if you cause cascades because obviously he's going to destroy five random tiles but it's like you need seven protectiles of your own to be destroyed or matched in cascades while activating his full throttle blast to be able to activate the infinite it's like a semi infinite you know you generate blue green stun rinse watch repeat aoe damage for that team but uh anyways back to this so we want to activate stealth hunter um to basically steal two ap from the enemy team prioritizing blue and green that basically stops kang and Batery bill and uh then vulture go wait where is it let me see was it this one uh two ap from the enemy team prioritizing blue and green then vulture goes airborne for two turns um passive using the stark stealth tech in his suit whenever vulture returns from being airborne he generates two yellow ap two red ap and one black ap therefore you know th that's locked this is a really good synergetic team um he helps ultron and deathlock basically activate their red and black abilities so obviously you don't have to activate them because you know if you want to activate plummet you're gonna remove these remove this ap from your you know stock up here uh to deal 25 percent more damage right now he's airborne so plummet's gonna happen and you know it's gonna go back to the other ability i kind of want to send um man this is a tough choice i'm gonna send beta ray bill i don't want them to generate any ap so we got a three turn, right? So we're gonna hit 7, 14, 21,000 damage. Now, I don't wanna activate this yet. All right, Airborne dealing 16,016 damage and destroying five random tiles. Destroy tiles, deal damage, but do not generate AP. You destroy the hostile token, which you're losing out on damage. I, I don't want that. I wanna hit Beta Ray Bill. So we need to activate his black ability and his red for that extra damage let's just generate you know more green oh they did it anyways oh no um all right so the ap so let's see seven ap from among yellow red and black dealing 25 percent increased damage for each ap drained um so five thousand that should be roughly around eight thousand aoe damage let's test it out 11 yes to the target and then 8k to the back okay fair enough all right let's do this still two ap let's get that uh blue and green was it was it blue and green yes blue and green he's a pretty simple character there's really nothing much to him that's why i chose this team to use with him in pvp simulator obviously there's other team like there's other characters that are solo characters that you can pair with him that use different uh different colors right but i'd rather use this team because it makes it more easier for you to use vulture this way um we're going to down kang first boom all right so this deathlock uh deathlock space focus point increased to seven at the start of each turn deathlock deals 50 percent of his current focus points damage bonus to all other characters Ignoring projectiles, invisibility, and airborne. Okay. So that just even pairs well with Vulture. Like, easy. Let's see. Red. That's a pretty synergetic team, if I do say so myself. We got these 415 strike tiles, strength strike tiles. Let's see nothing yellow we're gonna send you airborne again match more black we could activate invisible aoe damage strike that was a strength 1028 we're gonna activate that again let me see five blue this is a pretty simple team shared strength of course aoe damage look at that increased damage too all right so we have this 
he has nothing again. Let's just do that. We're just going to keep sending him airborne. I don't care. Look at that. The damage. The AoE damage. Kang the Conqueror is dead. Is it Kang the Conqueror? Like... Let me see. Kang the Conqueror. Okay, the, the three-star version is Kang Classic. Mm, let's steal more AP. <laughs> We're literally just not letting Vulture get hit. These guys are just doing all the work. Alright, four... We're going to activate his black ability. This is a really, really synergetic team. You can add it basically to your list of teams that you guys have. Um, they, they feed each other really well. They synergize really, really, really well. Green, we, didn't, we only activated green twice, right? Hostile Skies. I wouldn't really call him meta. I mean, you could use uh, Vulture with Omega Red. Um, pretty much, right? So Death Locks down, doesn't matter. I already knew he, he he was eventually gonna get down by one of the three characters. Sent away AoE like that with Apocalypse, or just AoE, or single target damage with Beta Ray Bills Blue. Stealth, we're leaving that alone. Stun. Yellow, green, we need this 5k match damage. The match damage is pretty wild. But yeah, Vulture is... He's different. He, like I said, he's more of a solo character. So that's why I chose uh, Synthetic. Let me see, he's... For each, yeah, synthetic technologist team is basically what I chose. I mean, you could you could do that with Deathlock and Vulture in two-day PvP. It's slow, but it works, you know. So energy beam, fifteen k, blue. I want blue to not. Okay, so we left the worst one for last, which is Apocalypse. He can one v three care uh, teams, but. I don't see him winning this. I match those strike tiles, I know. But we're gonna activate full throttle and I think we win here. Cause we got 30 yellow. We got, okay. Yeah, he's 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 a goner. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that was a pretty simple team. Vulture's fun, solo character. Um, that's it for this one guys. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.